Today we're learning about empirical formula. Empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio of the elements in a compound. So we're going to do a sample problem from the book number 67. A compound that contains only nitrogen and oxygen is 30.4 percent nitrogen by mass and the molar mass of this compound is 92 grams per mole. What is the empirical formula of this compound and what is the molecular formula of this compound? So first, let's just find the empirical formula, or the lowest whole number ratio of the elements here. Now, whenever we want to, when we want to find a ratio of elements, we need to convert to moles. That allows us to compare amounts of two different substances. So if it's 30.4% nitrogen, we then know that it's 69.6% oxygen. Now, when we're given percents, what we want to do is assume 100 grams of the sample. So we will just simply convert these percents to grams. Right. Now once we're in grams, we can go to the mole of any substance by dividing by its molar mass. So for nitrogen, the molar mass is 14 grams in one mole. And that will give us... Two point one seven moles of nitrogen, and then we find the number of moles of oxygen here. Oxygen is sixteen grams per mole, and that works out to be four point three five moles of oxygen. So this is a ratio of these two elements. And the goal for empirical formula is to find the lowest whole number ratio. Whenever you're finding the whole, lowest whole number ratio of two substances, you always divide by the lowest number available. The lowest number available out of these two is 2.17. So we divide both by this number to give us a reference point for our ratio. So this works out to be for every one mole of nitrogen, we have two moles of oxygen. So we can say that our empirical formula is going to be NO2. And that would be the empirical formula. Next video, we're going to take the empirical formula and convert it to its molecular formula.